Is this the cut? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's up, my beautiful babes? So I'm here with Sophia Nygaard. You guys might know her from like every viral video that she has on the internet, which is like every one of them. <laughs> She's amazing. She does like really cool makeover videos, like testing, what, like mixing all your lipsticks together. Yes, I have mixed uh, 603 lipsticks together oh before. Oh my God. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> But it was fun. You need to check her channel out. It'll be linked below, obviously. But today, we're gonna do a makeover on her. Uh, I'm gonna do her hair, of course. We're gonna chop it, we're gonna color it. It is gonna be so fabulous. And the full video is gonna be on her channel, by the way, if you wanna see mm -hmm. the full thing. But this is gonna be more behind the scenes of it all. And yeah, I'm really excited. And we're gonna get her living her extra life. We're gonna get rid of this gray. We're gonna chop it, it's gonna be amazing. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yay, I I've had it. long hair for so long uh -huh. and I like having short hair. So yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> What are we gonna do today, Brad? What's the plan here? <sighs> okay, so let's examine your face shape real quick. Let's pull this hair off your face. Yes, because the face shape is sort of like what we're gonna be referencing for the haircut. Exactly. To frame the face. To frame the face. We're gonna accentuate her good parts and diminish the bad parts. There's no bad parts, but... The sideburns. <laughs> the hair, the chin hairs. You look beautiful. <laughs> But listen, so the ideal face shape is an oval mm -hmm. uh, for a female um, because it's symmetrical all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, to me, you definitely have more of a heart-shaped face because your chin kind of goes inwards to a point mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of gets wider on the top. Gotcha. I love the heart-shaped face. It's oh. beautiful. I love angular faces at women, but the most desirable face shape, according to the books, is an oval. <laughs> I think heart's where it's at. <laughs> I think so too, I mean. <laughs> so basically we want to take away from the forehead. Gotcha. Some of the width of mm -hmm. it, and then add it to the width down here. What I want to do is take your hair up to around the collarbone. Ooh. Yeah. The weight will land right here instead mm -hmm. of down here more, so it'll give more attention to your jaw mm -hmm. and make it look wider. Ooh. And then, I mean, I like the, the side part works great for you because- I've been doing it since eighth grade. <laughs> It's perfect. Don't don't get okay. rid of it. I All love right. it. We're yeah. sticking with I it. I mean, let's see what the middle would look like. It it kind of um, skews Marsha Brady, <laughs> but just because I have really straight hair, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if you have like a middle part and you have like wavy hair, like yeah. it looks really pretty. But for me, it kind of just goes. <laughs> Does it dry naturally like this? Yeah. Wow. I have They're really straight hair. Thank you. That's so nice. It, it sucks when I want to like curl it because then it gets so heavy and it just falls out really quick. Yeah. But like on the day to day, I'm just like, Meh. Yeah. I mean, that's perfect for like a long bob though, because you don't have to do anything to it. Yeah. Just throw a few waves in there if you want to, but. I barely even know how to do that. Yeah. Well, we're going <laughs> to teach you today. <laughs> so yeah, I think a long bob, we're going to add a little bit of layering around her face just to kind of accentuate the jaw more. Mm -hmm. um, just a few shorter pieces down here. Keep all the weight kind of heavy down here to bring attention down here, and then keep the side part the way it is. Perfect. Sound good? That sounds very good. Amazing. I'm saying bye to it. It was fun. I had a good time in the gray, but it's time to no. like a rapid scissor. <laughs> all right, we just have to move this chair over. We're shooting in like a, uh, a studio that will work, but is kind of small. It's a little small. So we're just kind of like here. Will we put this right in your eye? Oh, yes. So it might not be the most comfortable, but... But also thank you to YouTube Space for letting us film here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think it works, so... <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> All right, uh, sink malfunction. Let's reevaluate. There is one in here. Let's see. Oh, it works oh, in here. that one works. Can you fit back there? Girl. Oh. <laughs> Tight quarters for the crotchal area. Oh my god. Huh? I don't know if it's gonna get hot. It's like that's really, okay. That's, are you sure? Yeah. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. Are you sure? I, I'll live. Okay. I'm oh, just, it's waking me up. I'm just wetting it, so. Oh, it's waking me up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You have nice hair. Like it's it's pretty healthy for what you've done to it so far. <laughs> I mean, not, not that you've done a lot, but like you have gray colored hair. Usually oh, it's yeah. like a little frat at the ends from doing that, but it's pretty good. When's the last time you had it short? 
So the last time I cut my hair was December of 2016. Shit. <laughs> and I cut it pretty short though, to be fair. I had it probably a little bit shorter than even you're going to. That today. was like your last official haircut? That was my last official haircut, yeah. Because what happened was I got in this loop where I, A, was like freaked out of cutting it because of like um, the like chronology of videos. I was like, oh, well, I've already filmed the intro to this, so if I just have short hair randomly in the middle, like we can't do it. Yeah. And then I ended up doing a bunch of these decades fashion videos last year. So for the like, once we got to the 80s, I wanted to do the 70s and the 60s to get like 50 years, you know? Um, and so for the 60s, I was like, oh shit, I need long hair. So I let my hair grow long until December of last year, and then I was like, for the okay. video? Yeah, for the video. Good for you. I know. <laughs> Dedication. Uh oh, is this the cut? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh yeah. Girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Uh, ooh, yes. The thing is, I feel like some people really are nervous to have their hair short, but I feel like when I have my hair long, it's harder for me to like look put together for some reason. Like yeah. When I have my hair short, I'm like, well, I have to look put together. Yeah. Look at this, you know, my hair, it's hard to, I can't hide behind my hair. Yeah. Brad, you find that if, like, you know, matching your face shape to your haircut does lead to, like, uh, you know, a good result for a lot of people, like, they would like their hair more if they, they cut their hair that way? What do you think? I mean, yeah, for sure. I, feel, I mean, what we're trying to do is make, ultimately make her look more feminine. So, with a woman, we're trying to make her look more oval, and with a guy, we're trying to make her look more square. And that's how with men, we do more of, like, tapered sides with, like, longer top to make it look more angular. At the end of the day, it's really what you want. Mm -hmm. It's not really about really like, it's cool to do it with your face shape and your skin tone, like your hair color and your haircut, but I think at the end of the day, it's like whatever picture you have in your head of like what you want is really what's gonna make you happy. Yeah. What face shape would like bangs look best on? Your Really? Mm -hmm. But I usually do it on people with bigger boards and you don't really look for it. Oh, okay. When you said that, when you said She's that like, stuff, I was like, I was like, but I know you don't want bangs. <laughs> well, would I look good with bangs? I really like, I wouldn't do like a bang. Yeah, okay. I would do like a bang. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. for a faucet action? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay so what's next? We're on to the color now, the best part, the most fun part. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're gonna get rid of this gray. Yes. So basically with her skin tone, what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely see pink in your skin, mm -hmm. but I also see warmths, yellows, oranges, stuff like that. So what I'm going to say is that your skin is neutral, mm -hmm. but more on the cool side. Mm -hmm. So basically that means you can pretty much pull off any hair color. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm suggesting we do is we just keep it natural. I like the dark on you for sure. Mm -hmm. I think it complements your skin very nicely. <laughs> and this is our natural color up here. Yes, it is. And it looks great. And I don't want to mess with that because it's just going to be too much maintenance for her and we don't want a lot of maintenance, right? So we're going to add some sunkissed highlights to her. Ooh. We're going to, I mean, around the face, I'm going to make it kind of brighter um, and then kind of like balayage in the back, you know, just that really pretty sunkissed natural looking color that'll make you look really healthy and glowy. I'm down for that. <laughs> We're still gonna keep it in the brown family. Mm -hmm. Not too, too light, but it's definitely gonna be different than what you have now. 
Awesome. Sound good? Yes, that sounds awesome. Okay. I'm down for it. As long as my head isn't shaved, I'm fine. As long as your hair's not falling out. <laughs> um, Hairdresser reacts to, so, to, to <laughs> me doing hair. I know that in your video where you were like talking about how to figure out your skin tone, you said to like look at the veins mm -hmm. on your arm. Yeah. What, what, what was that? What is, what's that about? Well, I mean, you have more bluish veins, don't you think? Okay, yes. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you look at your veins and they're blue, that means you have cool toned skin? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's it's kind of like a sort of you can listen to that rule. I mean, it's it's in combination of like looking with your eyes mm. and you can also look at their wrists to see what kind of veins they have. Gotcha. So usually blue is cool and green, greener veins is um, warmer tones. Gotcha. Um, but it's in combination with the other factors, like what you can actually see visually on their face. Mm -hmm. But that's also a good way, if you really are confused what your skin tone is, you can always look at your veins. I'm excited and I'm also aluminum. <laughs> Hello. You do a vlog. It's happening. I secretly made your vlog. <laughs> Not so secretly, I think that I know. <laughs> Obviously she lightened up really light, which I wasn't expecting, but that's okay because as long as we have it light, we can always make it darker easily with mm -hmm. the toner. So we're definitely going to tone her, make it a lot darker than it is, um, so it looks natural still. We are at my sister's apartment, <laughs> who I'm behind the camera. You're still rolling. We're still rolling. I think the hair's looking good. It's looking beautiful. And we're here, and it's late, and Brad's still here, and we're loving it. Love it. And Brad is still our friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Brad is just putting a second toner on me just to darken it up like just a little bit more. And then we're going to go in for the finishing cut. Woo! Am I right? You're right. All right. That's what we're doing. Thank you, Brad, for we're continuing to hang out with us. <laughs> we're going back old school. We're in, the, we're in the bathroom. We're bringing it back to high school for me. Like me coloring my friend's hair in the bathroom. <laughs> So what's going on now is, Brad, now that we've done the like second little round of color, or toning, mm -hmm. you're just doing a, little, doing a little trim? Doing a little trim. We're just kind of getting some layering in there so it's not super heavy because your hair is very thick. I'm very excited to see. All right, so before the finishing touch, and also before I see it, um, I'm just gonna turn our little LED panel on, which we just set up real quick, to have like a nice last shot, <laughs> a little more set up, just a little bit. We're ready for it. It's gonna get glam in this bedroom. <laughs> All right, let's spray her, and then we're gonna unveil to you. We're gonna show you what it looks like. I'm so stoked about this. Like, it's amazing. I think you're my dad. I feel like I'm your mom. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. We're taking the cape off. Cape's coming off. Oh my god. You look, I can't even see your face, but you look so good. Oh my god. Yes? I'm obsessed. All right, should I see it? Yeah, Check it. it out, girl. Yeah, all right. I'm nervous. The mirror's right here. <laughs> oh! Wow! <laughs> What is I that? I really like it. It's very different. It's very different. I look... Who do I look you like? You look so different. I look like something. 
I look like someone. Gorgeous. Oh. Amazing. Stunning. Thank you. <laughs> No, it looks, She's in her shock period. It looks really good. No, it doesn't. It just, I just look, I'm, hello. Very it's completely place for different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you would say this definitely fulfills the requirement of a hair makeover that's suited to my features. Honey, 100%. <laughs> it looks so good. I mean, it complements your skin tone, complements your face shape, and it's stunning. Thank you so much, It's Brad. such a big change. You killed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was we both killed it. A weak high five for a strong makeover. <laughs> but this is still the first part of our perfect makeover. So hair, a chick, and up next, a clothes. Ooh, it's so exciting. I can't wait to see it all done. <laughs> this is embarrassing. All right, we're <laughs> taking a, a selfie literally in the bathtub. Brad, why are we taking a photo in the bathtub? <laughs> it's a good wall. <laughs>